Nanu Nanu, hello and welcome to Cyan Labs, where I'm going to show you all the pedestal things that you can do in the Feed the Beast Skies pack available on the Bedrock Marketplace. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Um, so, one of the first things I'm going to show off is the pedestal generator and quarry. Early game, these are absolutely huge. I say early game, the quarry is a bit later game, but we will get to that. So, to start with any of the pedestal stuff, we are going to need to make a pedestal. And it's crafted quite easily. Um, I think the most difficult thing here is probably going to be the item frame early on, trying to get that lever. Uh, I'm definitely not going to tell you that llamas might drop lever and llamas might spawn in with a one-trip trader. Um, but anyway, <laughs> yes, some smooth stone and smooth stone slabs. And then, yeah, an item frame. Easy peasy, lovely little pedestal. You can even click it with a block or an item. And I can't get it out now. Can I get it out? I can't get it out. It's stuck in there forever. But yes, you can, in fact, display items in the pedestals. But we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to upgrade it. So to upgrade it, we need a pedestal upgrade base. And to make that, we're going to need some gold plates. Now, the gold plates can be made, not quite crafted, but if you use the mechanical press from the cogs part of the pack, you can, in fact, get yourself some gold plates. Okay, so once you've got yourself a pedestal upgrade base, so we're going to use that with a bucket of lava, a bucket of water, and some double compressed cobblestone, and we're going to make a pedestal generator upgrade. Okay, and that is how we're going to make all of these lovely blocks that we can make. So let's jump in here. And I'm going to grab all of this stuff. I'm even going to go into survival mode. And then I can show you how this all works. So I'm going to put up a list um, in a little while of all the different blocks. But first, let me show you what's what. So I'm going to start by putting down this block of gravel. And this block is going to um, decide what block we're generating. Okay. I'm then going to put the pedestal on top. And we could put different blocks underneath here to generate different blocks. As I say, I will show a list soon. So the pedestal's on top. We then need to apply the pedestal generator upgrade. So a little click on there. And now you can see here that it is in fact asking us for some sort of pickaxe. So I'm going to give it an iron pickaxe. There we go, like so. And now it wants some sort of inventory. Okay, so I'm going to put a chest on it. And you need to be a bit careful here. You can see that when I'm here, I can't see the box outline. But when you get sort of at the right angle, you can see there's box outline. And we can now put that on top. And we should start to see, yes, little particles coming out of it. Like so. And inside, we are generating gravel. Okay, so here is the list. And you can see here that there's a whole bunch of different blocks that we can use to create different blocks. So you can see that there's a big long row at the top, sort of two rows. So the bottom of those two rows is what you need to have underneath the pedestal. And then the block above that is what you're gonna generate. And then there's obviously a row at the bottom as well. Okay, so moving on, I wanted to show off some of the inventories that you can put on top. So as you saw, it did ask us for a chest or a hopper it was showing. I've done a little bit of testing here and you can see all of these different blocks that I'm generating. Okay, so we've obviously got the chest on top. Absolutely fine. And you can use a trapped chest as well. You can even use a barrel. Okay, and you can see here generating lots and lots of clay. Probably going to use that for runes and porcelain totems as part of the magic pack. Okay, next up we've got some sandstone. And this is feeding straight into the furnace. Now, if I take these out, the first slot it feeds in the furnace is the input. So you might be able to somehow set up a furnace that it can automatically smelt things. I don't know. It's completely up to you. Um, we've obviously got a hopper because it did show an icon above saying a hopper or a chest. We've even got, super handy I think this is, a shulker box. Okay? Really cool because then what you can do is you can pick up that shulker box, put a new one down, and then you can take that shulker box away and use it for whatever one you, you want to use it for. Maybe you want to feed a sifter or something like that. Um, and then lastly, we have got a dropper. 
So again, I thought this was cool because you could set up some comparator system that when there are blocks inside, it spits them out, maybe into a water stream or a wind stream or onto some conveyor belts or something like that. Okay. Now, what I did do is I tested with one of the new custom chests. So we've got the iron chest here. And yeah, you can see that it's not doing anything. I've got exactly the same setup that I've just shown you me putting together. The gravel underneath, we've got the, the upgrade, we've got the pick. But yes, it's not feeding into the iron chest. But don't fret, you can still use them. Because yes, as you can see here, we have the same thing, but we have the hopper here on top. And the hopper is pointing into the iron chest. And lo and behold, yes, look at this. We are generating gravel. As you can see there, it's just gone up to seven. It will soon go up to eight. And yeah, this is filling up quite nicely. Okay, so along the same sort of lines as the generator upgrade, we also have a pedestal quarry upgrade. So this works really similar. You're going to have a block underneath a chest on top and it's going to generate blocks and to make this quarry upgrade we're going to need the upgrade base and this is going to be a recurring pattern you might notice this um we're going to need a couple of blocks of obsidian and we're also going to need a diamond pickaxe okay and to get the pedestal upgrade uh, sorry the quarry upgrade working you do need to have a block of ancient debris underneath now this is very cool because so far all the others that i've shown create one sort of block depending on what's underneath the quarry upgrade will give you a whole array of different blocks so you can see here that we're getting more ancient debris we're getting stuff like granite and gravel and stone but we're also getting all of these lovely ores including essence ore for all of your magical needs okay and that is the quarry and generator pedestals so the next pedestal that I want to show off is the pedestal breeder. So let's come in here. And yes, you can see here that I've set up quite the elaborate little setup here. This does show the area in which this pedestal works. But before I show you that, let's look at how to make the breeder upgrade. So of course, we're going to need the upgrade base. We're going to need a hay bale, a crate of carrots or a carrot crate, however you want to say that. And then an emerald. And yes, that's going to give you the breeder upgrade and all you need to do is literally just click it onto the pedestal and yeah it'll look like this now let me very quickly fly up into the air because i want to show you this little circle it's not really a circle it's kind of a circle um but yeah you can see there that everything up to the gold blocks and including the gold blocks is the working area for this breeding pedestal um the red blocks are outside range Okay, so from the red block everywhere to the outside isn't going to work. And I pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> right, so let's drop down and let's actually show you how this works. I wanted to sort of get that uh, explained because you're going to notice it. In the future ones, they all seem to have a working area. And it's a different working area. So anyway, the breeding pedestal, the breeder upgrade. If I pop down a couple of chickens here, or oh, maybe not a baby chicken, that's a bit weird. But yes couple of grown-up chickens they will eventually there you go start to breed and they both bred as well yes they were both mummy chickens there apparently uh don't ask too many questions we're not here for that uh but yes any mobs within the area that can breed will be bred and that does include villagers so let's pop a couple of villagers here oh look at that they it was love at first sight wasn't it and yes they have created a baby so if you manage to get yourself up and running with the magic um part of the pack you can uh, make a villagers hotem and then you can start to breed your villagers so yes working seamlessly with each other these uh different parts of the pack so let's have a look at the next pedestal and that is going to be the pedestal attacker yes quite the change of pace we've gone from everyone making love to uh quite the opposite <laughs> but yes for this upgrade the attack upgrade we're going to need the base once more along with two magma blocks and an iron sword okay and this pedestal has a little bit of a different range to the one that i just showed you and as you can see here it's quite a nice square um so yeah if you need to pause the video here do so make a note of that 
and yes let's carry on so all you've got to do with this i'm actually going to pick this up there we go so you'd put down your pedestal you then apply your pedestal attack upgrade and then it is going to ask you for a sword now depending on the sword that you put inside depends on how quickly the mobs get killed basically it affects the amount of damage being done um, so let's clear that and then let's come over here and i can show you what's what so let's get a couple of chickens and yes as soon as they're within the area they take some damage you can see that they're taking oh oh you got away with that one didn't you but yes they're taking three hit points of damage there and then they sort of run away um this will also work of course with uh hostile mobs so let's summon there we go oh let's trying to get a ride <laughs> let let's do that there we go so yes and the good thing is about hostile mobs is they're going to keep coming towards that pedestal um, to try and attack it. Now, they can't attack it. They're not going to be able to do anything. As you can see, he's nice and close. Nothing happened. And yes, he is now what we like to call in the trade brown bread. Dead. <laughs> he's been unalived. Um, so yeah, that's the attacker pedestal. What's next? Well, next is the pedestal shearer. Yes, a very simple pedestal, but very effective pedestal. So first things first, let's jump up and you can pause the video there to see what sort of area this works in. It's a little bit of a smaller area than some of the others, but it's absolutely fine because this works really, really well. So we're going to need the upgrade base again, and then we're going to need two iron ingots and then another two iron ingots to craft some shears. And I feel like this is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, but I will show you. Let's uh, let's remove these bits on here. And you can see that, yes, as well as having the shearer upgrade, we do also need to apply some shears. Now, you can see the icon above there is flicking between two different kinds of shears. You can use the wooden shears. And I'd recommend using the wooden ones because they are cheaper than the vanilla iron shears. But anyway... Let's pop them on and that is now ready. If we spawn some sheep, you can see that they are eventually going to get sheared. Look at that. But you probably noticed, yes, look at that. The brown sheep has given some white wool. So that I have noticed a few inconsistencies with what type of wool comes off the sheep. Um, I'm hoping, will this black one show me now? sometimes you do get the colored wool no that didn't work but yeah sometimes you do get the wool to be colored the same as the sheep words i feel like i've butchered that but you you get what i mean uh but i mean the whole time it's shearing them for nothing it'll work in the background um so yeah happy days and the next pedestal is the pedestal mill car so yeah i think you guys have already worked this one out very much like the shearing pedestal for the sheep this one is going to work with our bovine friends our cows and for this one obviously upgrade base and then we need two pieces of leather and a bucket of milk okay and what i'm going to do is come over here i'm actually going to remove this and then put it back on because i want to show you guys so when you put the upgrade on the shearing one and the attacking one and a few others as well did want some sort of tool on top this one doesn't work like that if we actually click it you can see that it has a little inventory inside. Okay. So if I come over here and we can see here that I've got some buckets and I've got some bowls as well. So yes, we can milk a cow and we can also milk with a bowl a mushroom. I don't know, I don't know how that would work. Do, do we stew a mushroom instead of milking it? Um, I don't know. I really don't know but i'm going to put some of those buckets in here and then i'm going to pop a couple of cows down and after a, a little moment or two yes look at that those cows have been milked and we now have ourselves some milk buckets and look at that it's flying and it's already used all of the buckets um let's get rid of that so yes of course as expected uh it can milk the cows but if we actually put some bowls in here and we have some mushrooms nearby you're gonna notice yes look at this it does in fact create 
some stew for us, some lovely mushroom stew. Um, and oh, it hasn't used any bowls. Okay, we'll we'll pretend we didn't see that. But yes, bowls and mushrooms for stew, buckets and cows for milk. So, lots of items all over the place. What pedestal is next? Before I move on to the next pedestal, it's just a friendly reminder here that if you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that like button. This has taken a huge amount of work to put together. And if you're not already subscribed and you want to see more of these helpful little tutorials or just see me derping about on the Feed the Beast Skies map, then make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. The next pedestal is the magnet. The pedestal magnet. And this is going to be super helpful um, for all of these drops that we've got going on, whether it's buckets of milk everywhere, whether it's wool from the sheep. Um, we're going to need to somehow pick those up. And for that, we have the magnet upgrade. So as you can see here, there is an area that this works with just like all the others. But I've also managed to work out how much of an area you have up as well, because it's not just a flat plane. OK, it does work in a big giant sphere. OK, so you can see here that we can go up quite high and it will pick up any of these blocks. If I actually grab uh, some wall here and throw this down you can see that it is eventually going to pick that up yes there we go it's disappeared where did it go i will show you in the moment um but yes to make the pedestal magnet upgrade we're going to need the base we're then going to need a block of iron a little bit expensive but i think later on you know mid game iron shouldn't be a thing um some redstone dust and some lapis lazuli and yes Obviously, any items within the area are going to get sucked up by the magnet upgrade pedestal. Okay, so what I've done here is I've actually put the pedestal on top of a hopper. Um, by default, the, the items would just sit on the pedestal. Okay, they'd sort of sit in the block that the pedestal is on. So by putting a hopper here, it means that we can then pick up those items. And as you can see, they are in fact going into the chest like so glorious you gotta love a little bit of automation and finally the last pedestal upgrade that i want to show off is the fan upgrade and oh yes this one is quite magnificent it's a lot of fun uh so to make the fan upgrade we're going to need of course the base again we're going to need a couple of feathers and then we're going to need an air rune and this is part of the magic part of the uh, feed the beast skies map so make sure to check out my magic video if you haven't already on how to make the air rune. But yes, once you've made yourself the pedestal fan upgrade, you can then apply that to your pedestal and it will blow things basically. There you go. You can see there it blew me. If I throw a block in there, it's going to blow the block. It's very much a bit like a water stream, but a little bit tidier, a little bit neater, less mess. Um, but yes, super, super handy. And this will work for items and entities. So you can see here that we do, in fact, have an armor stand going round. And if I was to summon, and I do, uh, let's summon a zombie. And we should notice, yes, there we go. The zombie is now stuck in that stream. He's trying to get out, but he keeps getting blown around. So you could use this in some sort of mob farm. Okay. Another tip as well, you might have seen me do it there. If you don't want to get blown by this stream, what you can do is actually crouch. And when you're then in the airstream, you're not going to get pushed around. Okay. Another thing I want to mention as well is that these, when they're placed. Can I pick one up? I can't. Hold on. Let's grab a pedestal from there. Uh, let's actually grab an upgrade. So this is going to work however you place it. Like It's going to face towards you when you place it. Okay, So if I put this down here and then put the upgrade in. Ah, of course. Yes, forgot to mention. I'm glad that happened. <laughs> Let's grab ourselves a block of redstone and pop that underneath. Oh, it's so dark now. It's so dark. Oh, but it is working. You saw there. Quickly throw that back in. So yeah, whatever way you're facing, 
um, when you put this down, is what way it's going to blow. So there you go. You can see there that this one I was facing this way and it blew towards me. This one the same. And obviously, yeah, you can sort of tell that I was facing this way to put that down. Oh my God, I'm stuck. Right, after getting out of that situation, um, I just want to show off some of the pedestal testing that I've done in here. So I've merged a couple of, not merged a couple, but I've, I've, I've combined a couple of pedestals here together. So we have got the shearing pedestal upgrade here. Lovely little grass area to make sure that the sheep can obviously grow their wool again. Oh, oh I was going to say perfect timing, but he didn't actually eat the grass. His, his friend pushed him out of the way. And you can see that, yes, all the wool is being collected. And we do have some grey wool in here. Can we see a little bit of grey wool in action? I think as soon as that got taken, did it? Was it? Was that 17 before? I can't remember, but yes. Um, yeah, just showcasing there how the magnet upgrade can work with the shears upgrade. Over here, you can see, yes, the same thing is going on, but instead, this time, it's with mushroom stew. And I've even put hopper full of bowls on top to keep this pedestal fed. Um, over here, we have got the love one. And for some reason, I, I, I don't know why I've done this. Oh, for eggs, that's why. <laughs> I'm thinking, why did I put a magnet there? Um, but yes, so the chickens are breeding. Whenever they drop eggs, the eggs are being collected. Uh, nice, nice little chicken farm. And then lastly is the attacking upgrade. And I wanted to sort of show, you know, imagine you've got a big giant mob farm. Everything's, all the mobs are getting put to sort of one area. This could be some sort of collection zone. Um, and then, yes, I've got the attacking upgrade there. And if we turn on this, we can mimic... The mob spawner generating mobs and look at that you can see that yes the mobs are getting killed the drops are dropping and then being collected and put into this barrel for me so let's turn that off a little bit noisy a little bit messy but yes that is the pedestals from the feed the beast guys pack so if you found this video helpful please consider hitting that like on the way out and until the next one take care stay cool bye bye